Hey guys, it's Young Man DHS here. Today we're going to be talking about how to get the maximum amount of FPS on Rainbow Six Siege. So the reason I'm making this video is because it's a very very popular game and um, I just want to make a guide out there for those of you who are struggling to run it to the max FPS and max capacity. So what you want to begin by doing is going into the description and downloading my increase FPS pack for Rainbow Six Siege. It will be a zip file so you'll need something like 7 zip to unzip it. Then you want to just double click on it, extract uh, to wherever you want and then you get a little file like this. So I'm going to be ignoring this for now and um, this next step depends on if you have Rainbow Six Siege installed in Uplay or Steam but I'll show you how to do it on both. So if you're on Steam you want to right click properties and uh, make sure both of these are off go to local files browse local files scroll down to the bottom you will find rainbow six siege and rainbow six siege underscore be so you want to right click properties compatibility and make sure this is ticked then we want to go ahead and do the exact same thing for be make sure it's ticked and then that's it. Then if you're a new play, it would be you go to Room Six Siege, go to Properties, and then it'll tell you the file location right here. So you just copy that in, go to File Explorer, and you would copy it in here and then do the exact same two steps. So then the next thing you want to do is go to this PC, Windows C, right click, Properties, Disk Cleanup and make sure all of these are ticked permanently delete them it'll take a couple seconds I keep my disk pretty clean so there wasn't a lot there but I've definitely heard of people that have like even up to 4 gigs and it's just crazy because that really really slows down not just gaming but your whole PC so then you want to go to error checking, you want to check for some errors, scan drive, um, again depending on how big your drive is and how much you store in there, it can take longer, it can take shorter, uh, I personally have a pretty small SSD so it doesn't take that long, as you see no errors, and now this step is just for people with hard drives, if you have an SSD you don't want to do this, but um, I also have an hard drive in here, so I'm just going to use it on this, and you want to click optimize, basically what this will do is defrag it, which means um, that it will basically just reorientate your disk, because basically the way a hard disk drive works is it's just a uh, spinning disk with information on it, so if your uh, computer needs some information on it, it needs to spin all the way around that disk to get it, and if the information is just scattered all over the place that can be really really slow. So then the next thing you want to do is come to documents, go to my games, Rainbow Six Siege, this, then click on game settings, should open up in the notepad, and you want to come down to TAA sharpen factor and change it to 0 0.375. Then you just want to save that and close out of everything we've opened. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is come to the RS6 increase FPS pack, launch the installer for CC Cleaner, install that, and then you'll get some, oh no, and you'll get something that looks like this. So then you want to run the cleaner. This will basically just clear any junk files from your computer. And then, you know, again, as I said, just that junk can really, really wear down your computer, and not only your gaming speeds, but your just computer speed in general. So, after than that, you want to go to MB Free Installer, and then install that, and then you will get something that looks like this. So, you want to go scan, fret scan, start scan. Basically what this will do is scan your computer for any malware you might have. This is uh, really really dangerous as not only can it slow down your computer, 
they can completely break it if it's left untreated. You know, I've um, my friend recently had a, a Bitcoin miner Trojan in his computer, and that was taking upwards of 60% of his CPU, and he just couldn't understand why his games were going really slowly. So I applied these tips for him, and now he's just back on the normal great playing experience. So you gotta let that run its course. It shouldn't take too long. Again, times may vary. If you have more files or uh, more hard drives, then it'll just take longer, obviously, because it's got more things it needs to search through. But while that's happening in the background, we're going to look at something else. So, the last thing in this file is the Unpark CPU app. We're going to go to that, click Yes, it'll open up this little thing. We're going to check status. Again, it just has to search for your CPU. So, um, you know. It can take a while, don't worry if it's going slow for you. Now we'll just check on the virus. As you can see, there's no threats identified and everything is fine. If you do get a threat, what you have to do is quarantine it. As you see, I have two here from earlier. And then basically once you quarantine them, you can just delete them and it just goes away forever. So let's check back on our park. As you can see, both mine are unparked. So basically, uh, both mine are parked. So basically, what you would do is you would click unpark all, and then after that was finished, you would continue with this guide. So then the next thing you want to do is go to a uh, control panel, go to advanced, view advanced system settings. Uh, you can tell which one it is because it has a little shield near it. Performance. And then set this to adjust for best performance. I'm not personally going to do this just because it can mess up the recording. It's done it a few times. So I'm just going to leave it as it was. But then after you do that, you want to go to advanced. Make sure this is set to programs. And then apply and exit out. So the next thing you want to do is go to power power options, change your power plan to high performance, you may have to uncheck it because it might be hiding here, go to change plan settings, these are personal preference, this is just when your monitor turns off, and this is when your computer actually sleeps, so then change advanced power settings, I like to set turn off hard disk after 0 minutes, by a base it will be set to 20, then go to processor power management, minimum processor state is at 100 and maximum 200. This means your processor will be using the maximum amount of power at all times. Well, speaking of this, I de definitely recommend following my overclocking guide in the top right right now. So, and I'll also link it down below so you can watch it after this video because that really, really helps you get some more FPS. So the next thing we're going to want to do is come to Google. I'll have these linked down below. And depending on if you have AMD or NVIDIA drivers, then this step will be different. So basically what you want to do, say if you have uh, AMD Radeon, I'm pretty sure that's under professional graphics. Yeah, uh, Radeon, Radeon Vega, I'm just picking a random one for example. And then you would select your operating system. And then that would tell you driver so you just go ahead and download that and then run it. Same thing with uh, GeForce, uh, NVIDIA rather. So let's say you add a, a temporary, you just click search and then download this driver. So the next thing I recommend is going back here and typing in task manager, going to startup and then just making sure anything here that you don't want enabled and start up uh, and just disable it. So for example, I don't really use Spotify on startup, so I'm just going to disable that. And this just means you won't have useless background programs hogging up your games. So last thing you want to do is come to here and type in run and go to percent temp 
50%. And you would just want to clear these out. If you're not able to do it, just press skip. 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 And then you basically just want to go to recycling bin, right click on it, and empty it. So that's all you have to do in your operating system. Now let's hop in game and see what settings to change there. Okay, so once you get in game, what you want to do is come up to this cog, press that, go to options, go to graphics, and set this to low by default. And then you want to turn anti-aliasing to TAA, and you want to set real scaling and TEA sharpness to minimum, and then apply. Then you will see if we run a benchmark, it'll take a couple of seconds to load. But as you can see, we're getting above 60 FPS, which is what you need for solid play at every time, where before we weren't even getting above 60. As you can see, there's about 10 operators in that room and a hostage. And the wall is about to explode, and we're still staying around the 80 FPS mark, which is more than playable. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please drop it a like. If you're new, I make a lot of content around how to optimize games. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Oh.